Hello YouTube, uh, quick Grey Knight update. I'm uh, actually repainting all my Grey Knight's uh, heads to be white, as you can tell. Um, so I got the Colonial GT coming up, so going for best painted. Um, as of right now, I'm repainting all the old all my old grey nights. I have a bit of a cold, so I was missed school a few days in a row, so a bit of a bunch of makeup work to do, so before I go to bed, so I figured I'd paint, just have the camera running. Uh, talk about them things. But it turns out, actually, man was shot uh, today, this morning to be exact, at 9.30, I believe. Um... He was shot because uh, he was shot in California. Right, let me turn the TV down. Shot in California because he was in a Carl's Jr. If you don't know what that is, that's a uh, kind of a burger joint in California, and he had a pretty much a sledgehammer. He was swinging it around, and he uh, wound up to swing it at a cop. And he was shot ten times. Repeatedly. There's actually a video of it on YouTube. It's pretty gruesome. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't really have an opinion of it. I mean, I, I'm both ways. I mean, I, if I was in that kind of situation, I really don't know what I would do. But, uh... But, I mean, I could see how the officers shot him... But, uh, ten times, it's a little bit excessive. In the video, you can see him go down, and even after he goes down, they fire another five shots up towards him. And that's just overkill, to be honest. I mean, bullets hurt. I mean, I can't really tell you from personal experience, but, uh... I'm gonna assume you don't want to be shot by a gun. But, uh, ten bullets. And assuming that the cops were carrying, like, forty-five... 45 caliber uh, handguns. That, those are some large bullets, and 10 of them. It's just crazy. Uh, tell me what you think. I'll put the video link in the uh, description. Just saying, it's a little bit graphic, so if you don't want to uh, watch anything graphic, just don't click it. But uh, it's pretty gruesome. I mean, personally. I feel that if the situation would have called for it, it would have been proper. If if he had a criminal background, yes, he, he may or should have been killed, depending on his criminal background. But before that, they should have tried to incapacitate him with stun guns, tasers, uh, pepper spray, anything along those lines. But in the video, it simply shows the man walk out of the burger joint. Uh, the police officers have their gun, guns drawn, and he, from the video, I think the police command him to drop the weapon, doesn't drop the weapon, he takes a swing, and shots are fired, and soon after, the ambulance comes, and then all hell breaks loose, but, uh, it's pretty bad. I, I, I was on Reddit, and I was reading some comments about it. A lot of people have mixed opinions. It doesn't really seem to be like general consensus about it. I see. I saw comments like he should have been shot only because he took a swing and he was told to drop his weapon. And some people think that, and they also think the ten shots was excessive. Um, it really, it really sucks that our world is that bad. I mean, in a way, it's a good thing that they took a criminal off the streets. But if that man was just upset and he went into a Carl's Jr. burger joint with a weapon just to smash up the place and not hurt, really hurt anybody. He was just upset over something and that was his last day on this earth. That really sucks. It's really upsetting that that would happen to a man. I mean, I don't think it was covered on, new, on the news because, I mean, people are shot every day, but... Uh, the police officer that sh fired his shots, uh, apparently are, is under investigation, so we will see if that was excessive use of force, 
But what happened? Only the court will judge that. I mean, I feel like if the police officers were to see that they were taking that video, they would command the people taking the video to, uh, to, uh, turn it off. Turn off his camera. But, uh, that's freedom of, I forget what right that's covered under, but they're allowed to take videos of police officers. There's many videos of police officers all over the internet that will have video cameras pointed at them, and they will tell the person filming to put the camera away. I don't know if they fear getting, like, their authority taken away or feel like they're doing something over-excessive and they don't want anybody to know. But, I mean, if they're doing what they think is right, then why should they have a video camera pointed at them? I mean, maybe they just think that it could be used proof against them in court if something goes wrong. And they don't want that to be able to happen. But, I mean, telling someone to put a camera away is is not right because that, that is unconstitutional and it's it's practically against the law. I mean, then again, SOPA is because it blocks and censors information and freedom of speech, so... <sighs> guess the government could do that. Whatever. So, uh, tell me what you think of the situation, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'm just gonna end it here, because I, I... I don't know what else to talk about. So, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, sorry for my nasally voice, I kind of, I'm a little bit sick, uh, so thank you for watching, please comment, rate, and subscribe.